Hello everyone, Justin with Deep Dive Stocks here, and today I thought we might do a quick dive into the market after OK, OK, the Federal Open Market Committee meeting that occurred yesterday. Now, obviously, the market did not react well to the news, despite perhaps the news being forecasted quite substantially. So, in this video, we're going to look at Vorex's response, the market-wide gamma squeeze count response how dealer long positioning has changed, and how LDPM is assessing the situation in real time. Starting with Vorex, we see that there has been a trend with Vorex with rallies. And we've been talking about this in the weekly chat for quite a while now. It's been a pretty consistent and reliable indicator for when rallies are starting and when rallies end. However, the most recent uh, Fed meeting has demonstrated quite a disturbance in Vorex such that it is now breaking from the pattern. Not only is it breaking from the pattern, but Vorex has found itself into the propagation zone, which is always worrisome if you have long outlooks on the market, because Vorex falling into the propagation zone is indicative of continued and persistent declines in price. This is even more noticeable in QQQ, where we noticed that Vorex had already spiked into the inhibition zone and has now fallen into the propagation zone, which is what we classify as an indicator that the rally has stopped. This is curious because in the weekly chat and the data above suggested that this week, especially the rally should continue, but it seems that the meeting has maybe put a premature end to this most recent rally. Moving just from SPY and QQQ and looking at the entire market as a whole, we see that the market wide gamma squeeze count has increased quite drastically as well. Now, typically one data point is only one data point, but we see that again, this disrupts the overall trend, especially when monitoring a, in a bear market, a rally, you want a consistent decline in the market wide gamma squeeze counts, which we see has not happened. In fact, we now see a quite a substantial increase in gamma squeezes throughout the market subsequent to the meeting. This again, breaks the pattern that we associate with a continued rally, which is worries. Not everyone in the market, however, thinks that this is going to be a major event in the medium or short term. As we see on QQQ, the number of dealer long puts has increased quite substantially. This means there was a good number of people in the market who, dis who felt comfortable selling puts either to capture the a volatility event, a decline in volatility, or an increase in spot, which then results in them being able to repurchase the puts cheaper than what they sold them and collecting a profit. This is a pretty risky position given the current conditions, but we see that it's been going on for a while now. And I do think that it has something to do with the instability that we're seeing in the market. Lastly, if we look at LDPM, we see that the, the meeting caused LDPM to go above SPY or rather SPY fell below LDPM on the daily. This is also worrisome because this is a pretty bearish event, especially when on a you look at it on a longer time frame, such as on the daily interval. But not everything is ultra bearish right now. In the midst of all this, SPY did develop quite a stabilizing gamma hedging heat map, as we can see above. And this is stable because if the index does fall and volatility rises, we do get a nice passive bid that will enter and hopefully help starve off a major sell off. However, this purchasing support can only last but for so long once those positions are fully hedged then the market will be at the mercy of the incoming options positions and the retail investor in deciding if they do want to reinvest, keep the rally going, or if it is time to pivot for the next leg down. That's all I have for you guys today. I'm Justin with Deep Dive Stocks. As always, happy trading, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.